Chris light it down game and chance game and chance there is statement here right now that I want you to write down because I think it is it will be the good place to start right now life is not a game life is not a game which means life it is a serious thing there is some statements here I want you to write down laws was never created to accommodate the vices but to stop them vices is usual pre-exist laws this is the principle of gaming and chance number three Ten commandments were not given until almost 3,000 years after the man sinned. I repeat, the Ten Commandments were not given until almost over 3,000 years after the man sinned. So the law is not created to necessarily stop man from sinning. Law created so that man could recognize the vices. So the principle of law is when a law is created then conscience comes alive. That, that, that's the principle of law. Write it down. When a law is created, conscience comes alive. So where there is no law, there is no conscience. And the Bible was so clear that when the law alive, sin come alive. Which means you don't know wrong until right is defined. So the purpose of laws, it is not to stop man from sinning, but it is to define the wrong. Which means uh, you can't know the wrong until the right is defined. Why God tell the people of Israel they shall not worship another God before me it was because they were doing it why does God say they do not commit an adult it is because they were doing it already that is it so when the law falls they was not to accommodate the vices or to dignify them but it was to define the right that is all. so that was an introduction and uh, I, i'm just here to prove to you today that life is not a game Uh, in Tanzania this first week government voted to, le to, to, to legalize the betting business in, in the country and you will remember that the government has been legalized today that the betting is the legal business in the country so they sit down and think how it could be managed and run 
and how it could be a, 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 organized in the country. So, they made the decision by looking the consequence and all possibility of the result after the betting business in the country. So the government sit down and think the consequence and result of everything before they legalize the betting business in the country. So in other fact, the government knows the result and the consequence of the betting business. Remember God, when God created the universe, he said everything were good. Just think down. When God decided to create the universe, he said everything was good. Now, he created bushes and trees and forests. But the problem is, today everyone takes drugs from the bushes and trees. You know? We get drugs and medicine in, in, in trees and forests. That is not a problem. But the problem is there are something called abnormal use, which is abuse. Some of people take the drugs from what God created and say it, it, it is good. And then they misuse. They, they, uh, they, they, they abuse the word abuse it means abnormal use there will be no abuse if there is no use so the reason why there is abuse is because there is the use for everything includes games so there is a statement here Write it down. The statement number two is laws were not created to accommodate the vice for they were created to stop them or define them whether they are good or bad. I repeat. Laws were not created to accommodate the vice for they were created to stop them or define them whether they are good I think now you understand this so this gives us the principle number two now principle number two is write it down Consequences are more important than decision. I repeat. Consequences are more important than decision. Don't ever make decision more important than consequence. You know, some people say, if you make a decision, you're going to live with it. Then I say, it is not true. Why? You don't leave a decision. Because that's happened in one moment. But you leave the consequence. So what you must do? So, making a decision is not important than having the consequence. Before you make any decision in life, study the consequences first. Make sure you start any possible means to know the consequence clear. Do your research get all information check all alternative 
Study the options. Find out the historical data. Check those. I already made that decision. And read their life and study their life. Find everything before you make a decision. in such a way. You know Nzali Global and Tanzania Faith Ministry, I am a guy on the top. I will listen to all advice and I will seek the wisdom of collective knowledge and I will listen to all sides but at the end I take responsibility for all decisions made. Which means I never transfer the burden of decision to the followers that they are responsible and they're supposed to make. That is all. Adam, he never picked a fruit to anyone. He never even give the fruit to anybody. But when God comes alive, he asked direct to Adam. Just think on that. So see, if I want to blame you for what's happened, all I have to do is to let you make a decision just in case things doesn't not work out and I can just say you decided. Let me repeat because I, I think you didn't get here, Craig. If 
I want to blame you for what's happened. All I have to do is to let you make a decision. Just in case things doesn't work out. And I can just say, you decided it. And that is not leadership. That is irresponsibility of leadership. Listen, listen. We need leaders who can be matured enough to implement the laws and apply the law, impose the law, or make a decision for themselves to take responsibility for not applying the law. I think this is that is in, in important for the leadership. So we, we, we need leaders who can be matured enough to implement the laws, to apply the laws, to, to empower the laws, to make decisions for themselves. That is on. Principle number four, write it down. Chance is a game to the wealth, but it is the source of hope to the poor. Principle number four, write it down, I repeat. Chance is a game to the wealth because they can afford to play it. But it is the source of hope to the poor because they expect to live on it. So my question is, this is dangerous to the poor. Why? If you want to become wealth, then you don't have to play games. Why? Because if you're gonna lose that matter, To the world's playing game, which is not dangerous, because if they lose, it doesn't matter. But to the poor, that matter. This why to the world, it is a game. But to the poor, it is a chance. If something is the source of your life then you are a victim of chance so if your life is a game you have to decide whether you want that catch of life if you are doing something the source of your life you are a victim of chance and if if life is a game, you have to decide whether you want that catcher or not. Let me tell you, there is a thin line between entertainment and habit. And sometimes we don't know when we cross it. I can go to a casino and I can put my bet maybe one million. It is a game. But the problem is if I lose a million, is it a problem or not? For the world, life is a game. Why? Because they can go to a casino, they can put one million in, 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 in betting, and, and, and if they lose or they get million, hey, no problem. That's the game. But the problem is to you. You take all money you have, and then you put in the betting, and then you think that you can get something for your life. Life is, does it, life doesn't not work in that way. 
Once people are falling to play games. Why? If they lose 1 million, they can get 200 million per day. So to them, losing 1 million it is not, it, it is not the, the problem. It is just a game. So they put 1 million, they get 200 million. But to you, if you put 200, then you spend 5 months to get it again. You know, I am not against chance. Chance is okay. But after all, you're supposed to make sure that it remains a game. If you put 100 in betting, then you expected to get the new car because you need it. Then to you, it is a chance. It is not a game. But if you put 100 million and you expected to get a car and you already have it, for you it is a game. Why? Whether you get it or not, it is not a problem. Why? Because you have a car. You know millions of people today are in trouble. They can't even experience the kingdom of God. Because they're mixing life with games. They're mixing chance and games. David says, my Lord is my shepherd. Don't get me wrong. You could play games any, many time you want. But the question is you are matured enough to make sure that it remains a game. If you want to play the game, you, you, you just play it. Pray it many times you want, but, but ask yourself, are you matured enough to make sure that it remains a game? That is on. Do not mixing the game with chance. So here the principle, you need to write it down. If you need a chance to live, then life, it will destroy you. I repeat. If you need chance to live, life, it will destroy you. You know millions of people today, they are living by chances. They are looking for the chance. They are waiting for the chance. All they can think it is a chance. So, if you need chance to live, let me tell you, brother, your life will be destroyed. I am not against games. But you should make sure it remains a game after you play. That is all. If we are going to play the game, then, this is... That's all. Don't try. Given responsibility to lead the country, should oversee the practice and take full responsibility for all the consequences of the practice. Let me explain this indeed. This is my recommendation. Now, if we're going to play the games in our country, if we allow games in our country, the power, the government that has been given responsibility to rid the country, they should see the practice and they should take full responsibility for all the consequences of the practice. If they can do that, please stop gaming in life. That is 
my recommendation then number 6 write it down person sin and transgression is not a national sin and and transgression i repeat personal sin and transgression is not a national sin and transgression that is on the creator oh god based in history he judged a man sin based on his level of vices which means if you sinned personal he will judge you personal so keep it person that all of us will be safe the problem is we want to do a personal sin to the public sin whether you are doing sin keep it in private so that god can judge you private so you and god you will discuss in a private way that is what i mean uh we think that life with the game in somehow but life is not a game this is my recommendation